Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of We Bowling Over Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to talk about it, man. We got to talk about it because I, I'm, I'm running out of excuses right now. I, I, this is concerning, y'all. <laughs> but before we get into that, you know what we got to do? We got to give respect where respect is due. So I got to thank y'all for all the support, the likes, the subscriptions, all of that good stuff. You know what keeps this channel going. It's y'all. So thank you. All right, but let's get into it, man. What's going on right now with this team? One and five? The Toronto Raptors is one and five. I mean, yes, we're in the East. Yes, the season just started. But I'm I'm a little nervous. I don't like how this feels. I don't like how this looks. I don't like what I'm hearing. I just don't like it. I'm concerned, man. I'm deeply concerned. I don't like what I'm seeing, as I said. You know, this is a team that I know. This is the championship team. This is this is just a few pieces removed from a championship. So I don't expect this type of drop off. There's players that got better that were on the championship team. There's players that was on the championship team that got finals MVP both, and they still on the team, man. What's going on? Nick Nurse, one of the coaches that was revered as one of the best in the whole NBA. What's going on? Oh my gosh, somebody please give me the answer. Come, Yo, get in that comment section. What's going on? Is it... I'm asking, are they homesick? Do they miss us? Is it because they 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 not in the city? They're across the border. What is it? What is it? I'm freaking out, Toronto. Come on, man. This ain't cool, bro. This ain't cool. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. We have an uphill battle to climb. We ain't we ain't stepping on no throats right now. One in five ain't it? And getting that little one win against the Knicks is not it? I mean, granted, they are a better team. I think they was doing a do an amazing job, but no! No! We shouldn't feel like we did anything beating the Knicks. I don't care. That's still the Knicks in my mind. <laughs> but, man, I don't know, guys. I, I This is really like a, a discussion we got to have on this one because I'm here wondering, like... I. I know everybody's over there bashing Pascal, throwing him under the bus. He's unproven. He he's overhyped. He's not worth the money. Da, 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 all that stuff. Trade him. Get rid of him. Give us James. Da, 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 all of that. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. But I'm not there yet. I'm still holding on to hope that Siakam will continue to get better as the season progresses, and hopefully. I think the biggest thing for him right now is decision making. And I'm not putting all the blame on him. I don't want to do that, but this is something that comes with being the so-called man, the star player, the max contract dude, that type of stuff. So Siakam, man, like watching the game yesterday, the only thing I could say about it was, you know, I think um, you, you clearly don't have good decision making. Like when it comes to... Should I take a three? Should I take a two? Should I drive? Should I spin left? Should I spin right? Bruh, bruh. Remember, Siakam, I haven't even seen a spin move all year, really and truly, when I think about it. Siakam, bread and butter. Get back to it, bruh. You you do it. Yes, the game is expanding. Don't get me wrong. You want to show off some of the things you've been working on, but I don't know if it's winning us games right now and we ain't in situations where it's a blowout and you can, you know, like, come on, bro, we need winning plays. Fred Van Fleet, I know you putting up numbers and all, but I I, I, I kind of lost, I don't know, the way how you're, you're, you're playing a different pace than everybody else. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it actually hurts the team because I find that, the game is being too much into your tempo as opposed to free flowing where everybody's tempo is impacted and everybody kind of gets an opportunity to do their own thing if that makes sense but fred i'm not too i'm not too hype with what i'm seeing i mean you it is early as i said we're only 6 games in so but 
nah, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing. And, and you know, I did see somebody pose a question recently. Should they, you know, put either Fred or, or uh, Kyle, one of them, on the bench? And I'm starting to hear Nick Nurse say a bit more and more. He, that short lineup is starting to kind of annoy him. Norman Powell? Bruh. Bruh. I, I, I don't even want to get on it because he he knows. It's been Brick City all year. I mean, you had a one good game the other day, but Norm, come on, man. <sighs> Guys, I, I, honestly, this is this one is a frustrating one, and like, I do not know what's next. I want to see them give some of our players um, that came off the bench late in the game last night more minutes, such as a Terrence Davis, such as a Malachi Flynn. Such as a Paul Watson, these guys need the opportunity to grow. I believe that they can bring something new to our team, something we're missing. Um, honestly, OG got to find back his shot or the confidence to be making the shots or taking the shots. There's just a whole bunch of nonsense that's going on. Nick Nurse looks like he's not pushing the right buttons. I don't know if he's getting the best out of the players, if Pascal's even tuning them the way how he used to. I, I'm all over the place with this one, man, because I just don't understand what's going on with our beloved Toronto Raptors. Are they missing home? Is it that they miss the great city of Toronto? I live in Toronto. I know how beautiful Toronto is. Are they missing that hype of the fans? You know, I know you're supposed to build your own energy. You're a professional. You can't be worried about fans and whatnot, but I don't know what it is, man. This just doesn't seem like the same team. The guys around the team don't seem the same. And, you know, as I'm saying this, it kind of reminds me back of the preseason when I saw them joking in the media and stuff like, we got to go, we got to go. And then after I realized Kyle Lowry wasn't there for the starting of the training camp, but it was just never workmanlike, you know, if that makes sense. Think about that. Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm it might be a little reach, but. It makes sense. That's kind of how my brain looks. If you came in from the jump, and this is how you acted from the jump, why would I expect something different? Or or how you came in is continuing. At what point have I seen something else to think something else is to come? That's my question. So, Toronto, we miss you. We still rooting for you. We a little frustrated. But we know you got it. I from a sincere fan. All love and respect. You see me? Yeah. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, guys. Get in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know, man. I'm I'm stressing. I don't care what you say. You gotta convince me now that this is not something for me to overreact or panic about. <sighs> we bowling over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.